What if a German automaker, long celebrated for its combustion engine precision, just outpaced Tesla in battery innovation? BMW's 6th generation electric drive system is here, boosting 30% more range, 30% faster charging and a significant reduction in costs. Deputing in the neue Klasse electric models, this isn't just an upgrade. It's BMW's bold move to reclaim leadership in the electric revolution. But what's behind these numbers? Can this new battery truly challenge Tesla and China's dominance in EV technology? And how does this fit into BMW's long-term strategy? Let's break it down. Until now, BMW relied on the CLAR platform, a flexible chassis supporting both combustion engines and electric drivetrains. It worked, but it wasn't optimized for EVs. Starting in 2025, that changes. The neue Klasse platform is a dedicated EV architecture, designed from the ground on, up for electric drivetrains. It enables a fully electric design philosophy, from battery packaging to cooling system and aerodynamics. Neue Klasse will underpin all future BMW electric models and comes packed with innovations. A next-gen high-voltage battery, reimagined control units, advanced electric motors and some very smart manufacturing decisions. BMW's previous gen batteries use prismatic lithium-ion cells. In a 5th gen E4 and EX3 model, these cells featured NMC or NCA chemistry and operated on a 400 volt system. While solid performing, they weren't groundbreaking. Now, with Gen 6, BMW is switching to large formic cylindric cells, similar to Tesla's 4680s. BMW's format include 4695 and 46120, referring to a 46mm diameter and either 95 or 120mm height. So, why this shift? Cylindric cells are cheaper to produce thanks to high-speed winding techniques. Imagine rolling sushi at industrial scale. They offer higher energy density, better thermal performance due to their geometry and are easier to integrate into modern EV architectures. The Gen C cells feature high nickel NMC cathodes with up to 90% nickel content and reduced cobalt, improving capacity while reducing reliance on rare materials. On the anode side, BMW is shifting from pure graphite to graphite silicon composites. Silicon can store up to 10 times more lithium than graphite, significantly increasing energy density, but it requires stable enhancements that BMW engineered around. The result? BMW's claim a 20% higher energy density compared to the previous cells. Large cells generate more heat during fast charging. However, BMW claims the new design allows adding 300 km of range in just 10 minutes. This is achieved through improved cooling system, optimized interior resistance, switching from a 400 volt to an 800 volt architecture. Real world performance may vary depending on temperature, charger output and battery precondition. BMW isn't stopping at cell innovation. The Gen 6 packs use a cell pack method, skipping traditional modules by placing cells directly in the pack housing. Even better, the battery pack now serves as a structural element of the car, a concept similar to the Tesla structural battery design in the Model Y. BMW calls this pack to open body. The benefits include fewer parts, reduced weight, more interior space, better rigidity, lower manufacturing costs. This also lowers the car's center of gravity, improving handling dynamics. Sitting at the top is BMW's Energy Master, a compact control unit developed in-house at Landshut, Germany. The system switches between 400 and 800 volt charging, supports biodirectal charging, vehicle to grid, vehicle to home, optimized thermal management, enables future grid integration. Such features position BMW ahead in energy ecosystem innovations. Rather than building its own gigafactory like Tesla, BMW outsourced high-value manufacturing to trusted partners like CATL and EV Energy. However, it employs a local-for-local -local strategy, producing cells near vehicle assembly plants worldwide. This minimizes logistic risk while avoiding massive capacity loss. BMW's 6th gen powertrain 
uses dual motors, electrical excited synchron motor AESM on the rear axis and asynchron motors ASM on the front axle. EESMS eliminate permanent magnets or rare earths, enhancing sustainability while maintaining efficiency at high speed. ASMs are cost effective and ideal for mixed usage scenarios. BMW also integrates silicon carbon SEC semiconductors into its inverter design, reducing energy loss by 40% while cutting production costs by 20%. Neue Klasse models are designed with aerodynamics that improves efficiency by up to 20%. This plays a significant role in achieving the promised range improvements, especially at high speeds where drag dominates energy consumption. Structural pack makes cell level repairs difficult. However, most failures occur in electronics, not in individual cells, which are external to the pack for easier diagnostics and fixes. BMW claims it can cut battery pack costs by up to 50% compared to previous generations. If these savings reach consumers, EVs could become not only greener, but more affordable. The first vehicle featuring Gen 6 tech will be the BMW iX3 on neue Klasse architecture, expected by late 2025. Rumors suggest future M models could exceed 1000 horsepower with 4 motor setup. BMW's 6th gen platform checks nearly every innovation benchmark. High nickel cathodes with psyllium anodes, cylindrical cell formats with 800 volt architecture, structural pack design, rare earth free dual motor setup, silicon carbide inverters, vehicle-to-grid ready control systems, local production strategy. While China still leads in battery scale production, technologically BMW is catching up and possibly pulling ahead in some areas. The race isn't over yet, but Neue Klasse represents more than just a comeback. It may set up Europe's blueprint for EV innovations moving forward. So, what do you think? Has BMW finally caught up to Tesla in China? Does more work remain? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, consider subscribing and liking. See you in the next one.